etching with Ada. Hi everyone. This evening I'm going to etch two champagne flute glasses. They are um, for a bride and groom who are getting married in the, at the end of the month. And this is an actual wedding gift for them. The items, using, the items that I'm using is two champagne flute glasses, 651 vinyl. I actually have a additional tutorial that shows the process of creating the print and how to weed that out. They are already adhered to the glasses and as you see the black uh, electrical tape is used as a border so that you know no cream gets nowhere else on the glass except for the areas that I have cut out. I am also using Armor Etch. Armor Etch is what I'm going to use to create the etch, etching on the glasses. Acrylic brush and latex gloves. Armor Etch is very dangerous. It can burn your skin so it is advised, strongly advised, that you wear gloves using this process. Okay, so let's begin. I'm just going to dip the brush into the armor etch and paint it on lightly, staying within the black tape area. I'm using quite a bit because any excess I can actually scrape back into the jar. And I'm just kind of dabbing it, dabbing it into the open areas of the print. While you're doing this, you want to look and make sure that you're covering all the open areas. It really depends on how thin your uh, font or your design is. It can be kind of hard to see the opening, so you want to make sure that you take your time and get everything covered. Another thing um, that I like to do is once I am finished with the etching I leave the vinyl on until after I've confirmed that everything is fully covered the way that I want it. So that way if it's not, I can just go back and reapply more etching cream and everything will be lined up without actually removing the print. Okay. Don't worry about over usage because as you see, I am going back over and taking the excess and putting it back in the jar. And while that's sitting, we'll go ahead and do my next class. As you see, I'm putting quite a bit on so that I can be sure 
to get a nice good coverage making sure that all open areas in the template is filled with cream because if not you'll get a splotchy look where some of the edge took and some of it didn't Again, once you're finished with this process and you go to rinse them off, leave the template in place. Look at your glass very well to make sure that every part of the print is etched. If not, just reapply the edge cream again and let it sit. You don't have to let it sit long, just, you know, till you feel like you've the etching is taking place which is not very long it's glass and depending on the brand I use Armour Edge which I know works um, I can't speak for other brands I know there's Martha Stewart and stuff like that I've never used that uh, material that, that product so I don't know how the process works but for Armour Edge it doesn't take that long to do like wine glasses or champagne glasses there are other glass materials that um, if I was doing them such as the Pyrex I would actually leave the etching on a little bit longer because the glass is thicker Okay, so they're all done. There it is. It has the etching cream on them. I'm going to let them sit for a few seconds and then I'm going to rinse them off. 